It's our three month anniversary today. What? That's mad. I feel like I've been coming here for years. Okay. Oh, therapist. Okay. <laughs> How are you? I was about to be like, I didn't agree to this relationship. Thank you. Or like, who counts a three month anniversary when you're dating? I don't like people like that. I'm no. sorry. It's I understand if you're like a teenager because that's like the first time for everything. Yeah. But if you're like over 20, no more. Okay? Yeah. Don't do that. It anymore. doesn't count as anything. Uh, it's his job to know how I'm doing. He knows me better than anyone. Why does he have to ask? No, the don't. I feel like this therapist is going to end up being a bad guy. <laughs> He's going to be like, I've been using your emotional shit to, to report to the bad people all this time. Honestly, I don't have an answer. But that's probably not what he wants to hear. He, he's probably expecting me to say I feel better. It's been three months. That is some sort of milestone, I guess. Maybe I do feel better. We should say no idea, I think. I honestly don't know. That's fine. Ew. It's still Ew. Right. The fact that you don't remember anything makes it hard to quantify progress, but... It's not just about that. Maybe you will remember. Maybe you won't. But you want to remember. That's what's important. Okay. Do you agree with that, Zoe? I need to take a moment and, and let everybody know, the more I looked at this man, the more details I saw about everything about him, it got worse. <laughs> His hair looks like a lion's mane. His hair, I was like, like big and I like looked at him and I was like, you "Oh, that's what? awful." And then I kind of like kept looking at all the details of him and I was like, "It keeps getting worse." His you know tie, it, it makes me feel like I was looking at like the, a future hipster with like his a, tie and his hair and his glasses and his vest and his sweater vest underneath his jacket. And I was like, "Ah!" He looks like <laughs> some sort of like zany hipster professor who's like kind of wacky because he's got you know like the hair all over the but place. But he actually made his hair that. W funky and weird on purpose instead yeah. of him just not not caring yeah. he actually put a lot of work into looking like he doesn't care yeah and also that tie makes me want to like tighten it around his neck until he dies and potentially lose everything i've built here i i guess it's a risk i'll have to take i know there's something i need to remember something i'm supposed to be doing it's always at the back of my mind until I figure that out, I can't find peace. Oh, she doesn't remember. Yeah, the, exactly. Uh, so when he was saying, like, how you need to remember and all that stuff, I was thinking she's now in the real world, but she's forgotten the dream world, just like the guy said. Mm -hmm. The vagabond said she would, so... So usually in stories like this, when they have the therapist and stuff, the therapist is usually like an, a plant to be like, I think she's remembering, time to come in and kill her, or something like that, yeah. you know? And potentially lose everything I've built here? I, I'm not sure that's a risk I want to take. And potentially, what? And They're both, oh, okay. potentially lose everything I've built here? I, I'm not sure that's a risk I want to take. I feel there's something I need to remember, something something I need to do but if no, it comes what, back yes. to me what, I do I can't stand feeling there's something I need to remember but you don't remember what it is I have no idea so I have to find out I understand okay let's see if we can do an exercise jog your memory what is the last thing you do remember I think we should lie to him I don't trust him. In real life, you should trust your therapist, but in, in this game, mm, what do you think? Let's look at what the options are. It's vague, like a dream. But I do remember some things, fragments. Going back a year and a half before it all started. It's all a bit hazy, to be honest. It's like my memory loss is eating away at the edges, growing bigger. What do you think? I would tell the truth, but you can it's lie. Fake. I remember some of it. What do you remember? Razor banishing. Me going after him, trying to track him down. I ended up in Newport. I have memories of sneaking into a house filled with drug addicts. It's, it's like remembering a movie where I'm the star. Doing things that feel completely foreign to me. It doesn't even feel like I did those things. 
It's almost like I was... like I was just an observer. I remember being in a safe place and connecting to a dream machine. But that's where it ends. And before that? Before leaving Casablanca? Dad was going away. I was throwing a party. Then... Reza asked me to pick up a package. That's what set it all in motion. That and the static. And do you remember what that turned out to be? After I woke up, they filled in the blanks. Apparently it was some sort of glitch or virus. Rogue code infecting the worldwide wire. Someone at Watercorp was using the dream machine to read people's minds. Someone I'd met. Kavanagh. Damien Kavanagh. That's right. The man behind it all. The perpetrator of the conspiracy. He'd put some sort of worm into the code, turning the dream machine into a mind-controlling tool affecting millions. At least that's... that's what they say. He recorded a confession before he... Yeah, he didn't want to rot away in a jail for the rest of his life, but at least he came clean. Absolved his employer of any wrongdoing. Convenient. Mm -hmm. In what way? Too convenient. Forget it. I don't remember any of it. All I know is they poisoned my mind. Inserted false memories. Nothing I saw or experienced was real. The little girl on the screens, the other... The other world. Arcadia. Another colorful figment of their imagination. A synthetic dream. And you still remember nothing of going to Japan? Breaking into Watikorp? Nope. I exposed a global conspiracy, and all they gave me was a lousy coma. Aside from you, Reza, and my dad, no one even knows I was involved. Reza kept me out of his expose, and even he doesn't know what really happened during the week I was gone. Maybe my friend Olivia knew something, but she... passed away. An accident. Right. An accident. So they say. In light of everything, it felt very... Convenient. Again. You feel responsible. I went off playing teen detective and people got hurt. A lot more people might have got hurt if you hadn't. Who knows, Dr. Zelenka? I don't, and that's the problem. I don't know what happened, what I did, or what... You're worried something else happened to you. I mean, it's a week of my life. Gone. That's what I'm here for. To help you through that. Whether you remember or not, it's a lot for one person to process on their own. Have you used a dream machine yet? God, no. I feel nauseous just watching the ads. <laughs> They're everywhere. You can't avoid them forever. I don't see one here. Well, I have one at home. I don't use it. Because of me? No. Well, not just that. They are addictive. And while I'm sure they're perfectly harmless entertainment, I worry about the long-term effects. It's becoming a disease, an addiction. I'm concerned about what these lucid, perfect dreams are doing to us. And you were connected to a prototype. There's no way to predict how that may have affected you. Now, I'm sure they're mostly safe, but there's not enough data. I'm very concerned about the effects over time, until I know more. But maybe you should, to get over your fear. Mm. You tell me you're worried I trusted about the long-term like consequences yeah, of the dream machine, and then you suggest I try it. <sighs> you're right. I probably should. Uh -uh. No. I'll think about it. Think about it. Have you spoken with Gabrielle yet? No, I'm... I'm not writing. ready like, to discuss oh, my yeah. dad. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> we don't talk. He rented out the house, moved to Mumbai. You don't think you need to talk to him about it? I wanted to be just like him. That's why I went into bioneering, but... I decided to drop my bioneering degree so that I could avoid thinking about him and what he was a part of. So... No, no, I don't. Well... <sighs> fuck, sorry. Of course I do. Maybe. Someday. That's perfectly fine. What do you want to talk about? 
Is the new series of Eurotrash a valid topic? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I Did trusted wait. him when he Woo -woo. was... I, yeah, totally valid. Like, I, for a second, I was like... Our time yeah, is almost up. Did you That's notice? Fine. I'm working today. How's that going? Really good. I enjoy it. A lot. I'm glad to hear that. You weren't so sure a month ago. I'm learning a lot. Neural programming, artificial intelligence. It helps me feel closer to Liv. Olivia, you know? Honoring her memory. Not in a self-sacrificing way. I, I want to do this. I like working with Mira and Wit. For now. And with the voluntary campaign work, I feel I contribute in other ways, too. You're keeping yourself busy and motivated. You've come a long way since we first met. I was a real fucking wreck. I'm not going to disagree with that, but you've come a long way. Thank you, Dr. Zelenka. A Roman. Uh, please. <laughs> Same time next week? Definitely. Thanks, Doc. Roman. Roman. <laughs> Take care, Zoe. Well, anyway. Yeah. But yeah, that was some... Yeah. <laughs> That, that guy! Okay, so when he started talking about, he was like, oh, like, I worry about the long-term effects, it's an addiction. I was like, yes! Maybe this is, like, gonna jog us to, like, remembering, like, what we're doing here. And then he was like, but you should try it. And I was like, fuck, you are not trustworthy. I know, I was like, oh, no, you're not trustworthy. You're fitting too, like, perfectly into this thing. And I'm like, you're gonna be a thing. But then he was like, you know, I don't like it. I don't use it. Like... He's like validating her fears yes. and everything, and I was like, "Oh, maybe, maybe he really is somebody who can, who we can trust." And blah, blah. and he was like, "But then you should try, you know, just, it's, it's fine, just once." And I was like, oh, "No." I'm like, I wonder, because I don't know. No, talk. Well, I wonder if like, because you know. A lot of times, like, if somebody has, like, a really deep-seated fear about something, mm -hmm. people will encourage them to, like, face the fear as opposed to just, like, complete avoidance forever. As mm -hmm. long as it's not, like, a dangerous fear. Like, I'm worried about getting hit by a car. And it's like, maybe you should just go stand in front of a car. No. It's like, if you're worried about riding in a car, then you should go try to do that. Because yeah. it proves to you that the, you know, that the fear is irrational, at least in part. But I'm not so sure about this one, because we know these machines are dangerous. Yeah, we know. She doesn't know. We know. Yeah. It's just like... But I'm not sure if he knows that, because he doesn't use one. I don't know. It, like, I feel it like... It just seems so convenient that he own he's trying to be like, oh, I own one, but I don't use it, and then I'm going to validate your fear, but also make it seem like... It's not as scary as you think it is. Yeah. You like, know? Like, am, like I, am I trying to do a good job of therapizing you? Or am I actually, like, a plant by the company who's just trying to get you hooked up to it again? And then you're gone. Also, did he say that she, she was saying, like, it's a week of my life gone? Is she saying that she was only in a coma for a week? No, no, no. no. She went missing for a week. She went, like, deep undercover where oh, nobody knew yes. what she was okay, doing. Yeah, yeah. And in that week, that's when she uncovered, like, the really, really big thing. Yeah, yeah. Because to them, to the world, they think they were just hacking the dreams and stealing people's personal information. Yeah. What she knows is, though, a whole bunch of other shit that she had proof to give because you know if you're gonna she, she shows up she's like um excuse me no they were using our dreams to change reality and everyone's like anyway so bye she had like proof of them doing it and she but she doesn't remember it and nobody yeah. else was around to see her do it except for her mother this poor like girl has so many problems <laughs> are you seeing this Roshek stuff yeah it's pretty whoa new. yeah it's moving whoa digital painting would you own that, or would you be too scared? Uh, maybe not that particular one. You know that somebody made a, a Rorschach mask? Mask, yeah. That actually moves? What? Yeah, he made it out of a special cloth that reacts to your breathing. Oh. So that... No, 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 no. Like, it has a base color, a, a base pattern, and then when you breathe it, it actually matches up with it. Yeah. It was pretty cool. I thought it was a really neat idea to yes. use with... Yes, watch my stinky onion breath traverse across my face. <laughs> <laughs> I that see. That sounds so cool. No, no, I, I really shouldn't. 
is a trap. A psychological trap. That's an interesting line. Mm. Is that a dragon? Well, it looks like a dragon. What does that mean? What does that say about me? That I'm, um, into dragons? Dragons are cool. I feel like I relate to her on a very deep level after that line. Yes! <laughs> I could stare at that for hours, and then I really would go insane. Sorry, what'd you say? No, then. I see... No. No, I, I really shouldn't. It's a trap. A psychological let's... trap. Don't worry, bro. We're just gonna go explore your office. Uh, let's take a look at her outfit. Listen, guys, I know that we, like, look at outfits, but they're important, okay? <laughs> they designed them for a reason. I know, so, so here we go. Here's her, like, awake outfit. Now, is this a jumpsuit? It looks like a jumpsuit, and I kind of dig it. I still like how her style is very much aligned with comfort. Yes. Not, like, emotional comfort, but the type of comfort you would seek if you were going to take a nap. Yep. And I think that's, uh... Well, jumpsuits are also, it's very easy, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I'm just going to put on, like, one piece of clothing and then throw a jacket over it. And she's also wearing the most comfortable type of heels known to man. Sneaker heels. Sneaker heels. Sneaker heels are the heels you wear when you want to try it without actually without really, really trying. trying. Without actually for real trying. <laughs> you know, you go on a date and they're like, oh, you wear sneakers. I'm like, no, they're sneaker heels. I didn't know the doc was into cephalopods. I wonder if he has a pet one at home. Ooh, oh. Let's get a better look at that. Cephalopods. Ooh, hold on. Cephalopods are jellyfish, right? Yeah. You know that there's actually a uh, a special type of jellyfish aquarium available now. Wait, so you can a cephalopod is a jellyfish, right? Not an octopus. Look it up. Exactly what you'd expect a psychologist to keep on his office shelf. No tawdry romance novels, fantasy, or science fiction, unfortunately. Touch all your if shit, I drink bro. more of that awful synthetic coffee at this point, I'll really need therapy. Oh, I was right. Cephalopod is octopus. <gasps> oh. It's on shrink stuff. Shrinky books. Octopus, squid, cuttlefish, and nautilus. Do you know that people who have pet octopuses, they're like the most annoying pets in the world? Really? Because it seems like they'd be so cool. No, no, they're so cool that they're annoying because they're always getting into trouble. Oh, like, what do they do? There's, like, there's this do one they, guy. Like, put their tentacles out of the tank and, like, <laughs> grab stuff off your desk and smash it? I remember reading, like, an emergency thread because this guy had stolen an octopus from an Asian market because he had, like, made some sort of, like, emotional connection to the octopus. Because he, he knew that octo the octopus was smart, but they were going to eat it. Oh, no! So he, like, grabbed the octopus and took it home. <laughs> <laughs> and, but he didn't know how to take care of an octopus. He just had like this like aquarium for sea for saltwater animals. Yeah. So, so he like, puts the octopus in there, and he's like, "All right, I'll like fix this later." Yeah. <laughs> so the octopus is fine, but he left a beer like next to the aquarium, and you're supposed to actually lock the top of aquariums for octopuses because they reach at, out, right? For octopi, this octopus opened up the <laughs> opened up the aquarium, crawled out. Went to the beer and opened it. What? <laughs> <laughs> and this isn't something that that's like outside the realm of a possibility for an octopus. There's actually been instances where octopi w or octo, you know, octopi. whatever. Yeah, will crawl out of their own aquariums at like special zoos and stuff. Yeah, and crawl into other tanks and eat them? eat the fish and then, and then crawl, crawl back. back because they know that if they get caught, they'll <laughs> they'll. <laughs> That is awesome. I know. So people who have octopi, they're like, they're so annoying because they're so smart. Uh, I want one now. No, Stacey, because yes. you'll be like, you'll wake up and the octopus will be like in your bed being be like, like on my I face, missed like, you. Staring at me. <laughs> we could cuddle. I could just like, it'll be like a parrot. It'll like suck her to my shoulder. You'll just spray, spray it with it water. <laughs> it's fine. I'll feed it little fish. <laughs> Stacy, I think it's suffocating. It's fine. It's fine. Just dunk it in water. Mm -hmm. No therapist's office would be complete without a chaise long. Never used it. I could 
take a nap and wake up with the doctor Whoa. leaning over me and uh, no, no stop it stupid authority figure sexual fantasy time to leave yeah it is time to leave <laughs> let's go what the fuck uh, I wonder if the cephalopod is some sort of like symbolism of what the whatever guy likes like that he's like a like an either, octopus either mischievous or um very inquisitive and intelligent blah blah inquisitive, blah blah intelligent or uh I'm, what's the other one I'm saying this because this is the type of story where they're like this is a story and everyone's aware that of being inside of a story and also dreams are real so I'm saying as everything probably has significance but continue yeah. Well, maybe, like, also that they are, that it, like, gets attached to you. You know what I mean? Ah. Like, it gets its suckers and on it you. Probes. And it probes? Probes, yes. That's my file. I feel an almost irresistible urge to peek. Well, yeah, peek. Yeah. Let's do it. Nope, nothing at all. A bunch of personal information I had to fill in for my first appointment. And now I feel really guilty for peeking. Boo. I wouldn't. I don't no. know what I was hoping don't feel for. Guilty. She's real cute note in the margins. Girl, you girl. need to, okay. We're, oh, we're going. Okay. First of all, red flag, she's mysteriously attracted to him. He must be evil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Clearly she's Stacy. What? Are you attracted to him? Uh, mm. you know okay, he so then he's he's he reminds me of like the, the the glasses and hipster clothes a little bit. He almost reminds me of Mr. Jefferson, but with like wild blonde hair. Yes. If he was, yeah, a little more of a hipster. Because he gives you, like, that kind of creepy vibe. Stacy, you need to tell us immediately if you find anybody to be relatable or attractive. Because the moment you do that, we know that person's doomed. Okay. <laughs> it's true, isn't it? It's true. The se Damn it. Stacy was like, I don't know, this Solus guy is kind of, like, interesting. Uh. Blah, blah. Later find out, he's... Like, really? <laughs> yeah. 2,000 years of death, destruction, and... Pain. Misery. Why does that mom have underboob? Um, do you want a holographic... Ooh, a holographic mohawk. mohawk. What the fuck? I thought that... I like this more than the fantasy setting. This feels like, um... Blade Runner? Blade Runner, yeah. The eye in the sky is watching. Maybe we'll go to a noodle shop. If she goes to a noodle shop, then you'll know. Then we'll we know. Then we'll know that she's the hero of the story. Mm-hmm. <laughs>